Hello, in this video we will discuss about the inosine monophosphate metabolism. So the metabolism is the combination of catabolism and anabolism. The metabolism means the catabolism and anabolism and catabolism is the breakdown of the larger molecule into the smaller molecule while the anabolism is the smaller molecule will convert into the larger molecule through a two or three molecule. So this is the ribose 5-phosphate. This ribose 5-phosphate uh, add with the ATP and in this way the addition of the ATP uh, uh, in the presence of the phosphoribosyl synthase enzyme PRPP5. This basically is uh, sorry PPRS. This basically is used by the ATP to denote the ribose 5-phosphate uh, to the phosphate group will form the 5-phosphoribosyl 1-diphosphate, PRPP. This 5-phosphoribosyl 1-diphosphate or 1-pyrophosphate which that will be convert through a de novo synthesis of the inosine monophosphate. But in this video, we will not understand about the inosine monophosphate pathway. Next video, we will learn. So this is the IMP. This is the inosine monophosphate. This is the central metabolic part of uh, inosine monophosphate for the synthesis of several things. Like, uh, uh, we will understand. And it will be synthesis through GTPs. This is a GTP is the energy currency. It is used for the signaling pathway in the cell. For example, this is the primary ligand with bind with the receptor of the cell and trimeric protein intracellularly attached with the alpha unit contain GDP convert into the GTP by the denotion or denotion uh, or providing of the phosphate group through a GTP. To activate the alpha GTP to activate the cyclic AMP, the messenger, uh, second messenger. So this is the GTP will convert by a phosphatase enzyme in the presence of ADP will convert into the ATP as a storage and this GDP conversion, the guanosine diphosphate. This guanosine diphosphate further catabolize. In this way, the catabolism will lead to produce the ATP while the phosphatase enzymes. So the ATP production is the anabolism while the GTP conversion into the GDP is the catabolism and same mechanism to form a guanosine monophosphate. And the guanosine monophosphate interconversion to become a inosine monophosphate again. Anyhow, let's begin to understand about the ATP. ATP is also the energy currency. This is the popular energy currency throughout the body, which that is function for cell division, the muscle contraction, the brain function, because the providing of the energy through mitochondria. This is the mitochondria is the powerhouse of energy will provide this ATP and glycolysis also. And the neuron. Uh, function the action potential required the uh, uh, active transport kinetic energy uh, like uh, exercise or other and thermoregulation is also involved for the product from the production of the ATP when ATP will dissociate to produce ADP and phosphate group release during the releasing of the phosphate group the energy will produce and the phosphatase enzyme will pr produce the ADP ADP anyhow so this ATP basically is used for the several purpose. So remember that. And also the synthesis for anabolism and the catabolism. So after this releasing of the phosphate group, it will become a ADP. This ADP is the adenosine diphosphate. We will remove one phosphate further with the same mechanism to produce again energy as well as AMP. This AMP is basically the adenosine monophosphate, the one phosphate group containing, will become a adenosine. This adenosine is further converted into the adenine. While here the interconversion through MAD enzyme will produce again the inosine monophosphate by the ATP. So remember the ATP and GTP is also used for the inosine monophosphate production by this cell. Same mechanism. So this is the adenine is used for the adenosine monophosphate production as well as the uh, as well as the DNA synthesis because the adenine is the nitrogenous space 
and adenine also convert into the 2A dihydroxyadenine. While the DNA synthesis requires the adenine for the uh, synthesis of the DNA during the DNA replication during the DNA cell division. So the mitosis required and the meiosis required this adenine. So that is why the adenine synthesis as well as the energy currency will use for the DNA synthesis. On the other hand, let's begin to understand the further is the purine nucleotide cycle. This purine is basically uh, the double ring structure is containing the adenine, adenine synthase enzyme will lead to produce the adenine, adenine, adenine synthase uh, to produce adenine and the, in this way adenine ADS lyase enzyme to produce again the AMP adenosine monophosphate so this is a purine nucleotide cycle anyhow here is the degradation will occur from the IMP the inosine monophosphate will convert into the inosine this inosine is also adenosine will convert this inosine and the PNP enzyme will produce the hypoxanthine this this hypoxanthine is basically the uh, again convert into the IMP through salvage pathway through a HPRT this HPRT is used for it so the XDH is basically is the hypo, uh, uh, xanthine dehydrogenase enzyme used to produce the xanthine and this xanthine will convert into the uric acid this uric acid excess of the uric acid is uh, xanthine dehydrogenase enzyme will lead to produce the uric acid and uric acid uh, mm, requires some but the excessive uric acid can cause the stone formation so the here is the uh, 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 xanthine monophosphate which that will convert into the gmp again this and the guanosine which that is the pnp will use to produce the guanosine uh, guanosine from the guanine because the guanine is important for the DNA synthesis again so that is why the DNA synthesis is important for the metabolism of inosine monophosphate via a several mechanism so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share bye